But the rules around parks vary a lot from place to place. Cobb County has one of the strictest restrictions in place when it comes to parks. Commission Chairman Mike Boyce told 11 Lives Doug Richards that Cobb County is ready to double down on this if people start don't start staying away from the parks. Terrell Mill Park in Cobb County had a very user unfriendly stretch of yellow tape at its entrance today. And yet it didn't stop folks accustomed to using the park from continuing to do so, despite an order from the county closing Cobb's 44 parks. Cobb Chairman Mike Boyce says the county closed the parks because its users last weekend weren't staying socially distant. For instance, in the pavilions in the parks, right? People were, were gathering in large groups in the pavilions. Boyce told us he drove past Terrell Mill Park himself today and saw people disregarding the county's order to stay out. That we're doing is in your best interest. If you choose to ignore those and we do not get the desired effect from the state of emergency, I can assure you we will we will double down on our restrictions here to ensure that people comply with the six foot guidelines and no more than 10. Cobb County's restrictions came at around the same time the city of Atlanta issued its own restrictions while pointedly exempting the popular Atlanta Beltline and other city parks from the restrictions. The mayor said Monday there was a reason. This isolation period, it is still going to be important for mental and physical health reasons. Yet even that's debatable. I run on the Beltline, the East Side Trail, uh, Piedmont Park. Francesca Flores is a wellness coach who says she has all but stopped exercising on the Beltline and in Atlanta parks because its patrons aren't respecting social distance guidelines designed to slow the COVID-19 pandemic. She thinks, like Cobb County, the city should close its parks. Because people aren't following um, the recommended procedures, I think even if it's for a week, that they should shut down the parks, unfortunately. Um, because if it's not mandated, people are going to continue doing it and not following the social distancing. And Flores thinks the city should close down the Beltline only for a week just to send a message to the patrons that the coronavirus is serious business.